Good evening. We call the Haywarden City Council to order on Wednesday, July 27, 2016 at 5.31 p.m. Uh, President or Council Members, Mayor, other than Councilperson Travis Olson, Jim Pickner, City Attorney, will be here shortly. Uh, short agenda items tonight, so we'll start with standard agenda item number 1A, approval of the July 13, 2016 City Council meeting minutes. So moved. Second. A motion by Payne. Seconded Second. by John for the July 13th meeting minutes. Any questions? All in favor of their approval say aye. 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 Those opposed? Thank you. That passes four to zero. Next is approval of uh, the claims for payment. I'll start with John for questions, please. None, thank you. Okay. Payne, any questions? None, thank you. Okay. Tim? No. Monty, questions? No. So moved. Motion by Monty for approval of claims for payment, seconded by Tim. All in favor of that motion say aye. 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 Those opposed? And that passes four to zero. Next is open business from the community. Seeing none, we'll move to the mayor's report. I'd like to congratulate the LG Everest Company for celebrating their 140th year in business. The LG Everest Company has always been a great company to our community. Their management and employees have always been very generous and helpful with working on projects with the city of Haywarden. We wish for them continued success. Our congratulations to the West Sioux baseball team for winning their first game at the state tournament. Good luck tomorrow and hopefully into the state final game on Saturday. All of us are very proud of how you represent your school and our communities of Haywarden, Ireton, and Chatsworth. Thank you to those organizations that attended the Haywarden Community Foundation Evening of Giving last Thursday. We congratulate you on receiving funding from the foundation and thank you for your work in making Haywarden a better community. We want to congratulate our five all-conference softball team members, Peyton, Taylor, Erica, Shady, and Amanda. The West Sioux softball team had a great season this year. I'd like to thank the members of the Haywarden Fire Department and Rescue for assisting in the successful, successful search for Mr. Stuart Harris near Akron last Sunday. It's great that all the different departments turned out and assisted in finding Mr. Harris. And lastly, again, I'd like to remind everyone to please take pride in their business and home properties and work towards making them look better. We all need to work to make Haywarden a great place to call home. Are there any council comments this evening? Hearing none, we'll move uh, just to our two staff members. Mike, anything from the department, please? I'm the only thing on the uh, flashing light for uh, the walking trail, the crosswalk sign, we did get funded for that. So uh, we're gonna try and get that put in before school starts. Okay, good, thank you. Gary? We also received a grant from the Hayward Community Foundation in the amount of $10,000 for the sound system and video improvements in the community center. Um, those, uh, uh, the um, parts, so to speak, have been ordered and uh, as soon as they're in, we will uh, have the installation completed. Uh, we're putting a new projection system and and uh, doing some upgrades to the speakers. So um, uh, at events where you have speaking, especially, it's sometimes difficult to hear and, and set the volume appropriately and whatnot. So um, thanks to the Haywarden Community Foundation, we were awarded $10,000 for that. So um, Bell, Haver Bell Haverhalls uh, has also announced a retirement effective December 31st, 2016. Um, if the council has any input regarding the hiring of Bell's replacement that they wish to share with the library board, now will be the time to do so. Uh, the library board of trustees are appointed by the mayor subject to council approval and, and they have the responsibility of hiring the librarian and then that individual hires the library staff as deemed necessary with their salaries determined by the library board. So um, really the city's role is budgetary, uh, but if you have any other um, uh, so if you have any uh, thoughts or any input you'd like to share with the library board, uh, I'd encourage you to contact them. Um, and I'd also like to congratulate the LG Everest on their 140 years of business in our community and, and uh, with that remind everybody that 
Uh, we are invited to an open house on Friday from 12 to 2 for um, Mayor, Council, and, and City Attorney. And so uh, if you're available at that time, I'd uh, encourage you to stop out. Okay, thank you. Anything, uh, questions for staff? Okay, hearing none. Uh, Jason, thanks again for being with us. We'll give us another hospital update, please. Um, there's not a whole lot more to update besides they continue to work on the exterior and interior. Uh, sheet rockers are still working. Um, it's amazing every day you go in there, they got more uh, sheet rock up and and uh, they're continuing to work on the inside. It's right now it's a slow go. You know, you're starting to see most of the exterior almost complete. Some of the rock on the main uh, entrance, uh, which really, I believe showcases the main entrance of the organization and it's really looking great. Um, again, we're still uh, still on budget. We are about two and a half weeks behind um, just because of uh, we have uh, uh, the sheet records are, are ch having challenges with with uh, you know having uh, workers and available and so we're falling behind a little bit in that but uh, I know that the construction manager is really <clears throat> trying to get that on on target but uh, there we are we are two and a half uh, weeks behind which is not huge in a, in a project this size I'd rather be two and a half weeks behind than two and a half months behind <laughs> yeah, so uh, two and a half weeks is, is not a huge uh, hiccup in a, in a building project but it is uh, a slight hiccup and I just want to be upfront with people on that otherwise we still are anticipating you know end of November uh, probably getting in that building we have slated for uh, middle of August to have the tile. People come in and lay the tile for the bathrooms. They're putting the waterproof sheetrock on, on, the, on the showers on the inside. And so things are progressing nicely. It just takes, some, takes a lot of time. You don't see a lot of activity that's happening on the inside when you drive around the outside. So any questions? Anything you want me to speak to? or? or uh, would like to ask me anything about the billing project or anything else? Here are none. Thanks again right. for Thanks a lot. support. Yep. Appreciate it very much. Agenda item number four, approval of the fiscal year 2015-2016 write-off. So kind of refer to Gary. Gary and I talked a little bit earlier and, and those numbers are Actually, very, very low for for the amount of business we do in uh, telecommunications and so forth. So, Gary. Yeah, I th I, th I think it's uh, really pretty incredible the write-offs that we have each year, uh, the, um, considering the fact that we we handle um, in excess of five million dollars of utility billings. Um, the ambulance write-offs are going to be what they are. Uh, most of those are based on uh, Medicare and Title 19. Um, uh, allowable uh, payments and uh, so they they are what they are there's not a lot that you can do about those um, but the utility write-offs are are really uh, driven by staff and uh, Tracy especially Tracy and Christy they do a phenomenal job uh, when you consider the, the the amount of money that goes through that office every year that we've only written off uh, $1,700 $1, that's pretty phenomenal so and thank you for giving us the uh, kind of the last eight years it gives us a good uh, good scheme of how we are doing with that yeah, yeah. Working very hard yeah, they just do a great job any questions for from council in regards to the write-offs for 2015-16 is there a motion for approval of those write-offs so moved. moved by Tim is there a second Second. Seconded by Payne. Further questions? All in favor of the approval of the 2015-2016 write-off say aye. Aye. And those opposed? Thank you. That passes four to zero. <clears throat> Next agenda item is a discussion of the electric bond refunding and potential savings. I'll again uh, refer uh, to Gary, please. We've had some conversations. Um, yeah, I just wanted to bring this to the council. I've had uh, numerous visits with Michael Maloney, with uh, D.A. Davidson, uh, early in 
uh, 2016, we looked at rates and it didn't make sense to do any refunding. Um, um, as you remember hearing in the news, the Brexit vote in, in Europe and, and it made it uh, uh, everyone steer uh, toward uh, more um, quality uh, types of uh, bonds in the bond market, of which we are one of those, many bonds are one of those. Um, thus, it's driven the, the uh, cost of those bonds down to where it may be something you want to consider. Um, uh, refunding the, you know, the net, um, the net savings uh, as of, uh, I believe, a day or two ago, uh, we would probably be in that mid-market range, which would be somewhere in that $150,000 range of savings after all, and that would include um, all the costs it would uh, that we would incur to, to refund the bonds. The savings would be, that's a net savings. So, uh, but, you know, I, I'm not here to tell you that's what to do. It's just, I just want to let you know that we can, that's what we can save um, at, at this point in time. If you, you know, th there is some costs because we, you know, technically you can't, uh, the bonds aren't called until 2018, so you're paying some 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 additional cost because of that. But that's also in in the you know the net savings is still 150 thousand dollar range. So um, even with all those things considered, will rates go down lower? Will you know would uh, would it make more sense to wait until uh, the bonds are callable? And there's uh, I I don't have the answers to that, and no one I don't think does, but. I can only tell you right now that the, um, the potential is the, there to save 150000 to maybe more. So, uh, so I wanted to bring that to your attention and see if, uh, what your thoughts might be. And I think it would be great to save. I mean, it's, it's go for it. Yeah, it's, it's either save it, uh, save it now or take the risk of, of Maybe no savings later, or or maybe greater savings later. I don't know what they, but something I, in the hand is always better. Than if we get it now. But wondering about maybe speculating. I, I think it'd be nice. But really, how much lower can you get from where it's at? I'm sorry, Pink. Really, how much lower can you get from where it's at? I didn't think they'd get this. I didn't think they'd go lower again now yeah. either. So I I don't know. Well, first you know, got them issued at that point. Yeah. I, uh, and it's it's probably yeah it who knows and you got a you got a presidential election coming up and who knows what impact that might have on rates you, you just I, I don't have the answers to that so I I don't know but I'm with Tim get in all we can I agree any thoughts no nope. no thoughts okay <clears throat> do you need a uh, just a Directed to some direction to, you need a to start to the process that you can stop at any time, but there's a it'll take three months. I mean, to get to that point, uh, there's a whole process of that we have to go through to, to do this. So by the time they're they're actually funded, it'll be, it'll be three months. It'll be in October, probably late October, if we start now. So, so. Then a um, motion to direct staff to um, proceed with refunding an electric bond. Is that? Probably what would be needed here, Jim. That'd be good. Okay. So moved. Motion by Tim. Is there a second? Second. Seconded by Payne. Further discussion. Can I just ask if there's a if there's a, if there's a is there a point that you would want to 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 stop this process uh, rate wise so that if I stay in connect you know uh, Michael and I talk a lot and you know, let's just say that rates go the other direction and before we get this process locked in, um, is there a, a, a level that of comfort that you guys have? If it's, as long as it stays over 100000 for example, you guys, uh, or something like that? Uh, I mean, there's no cost. Uh, it's still a net savings, so. Yeah, well, savings is savings. Okay. Right. If it gets ridiculously, uh, you know, or something, I'll come back and let you know. Thank you for those comments. All in favor of that motion, say aye. 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 Those opposed? Okay. Thank you, and thank you for those discussions. Anytime we can save money, it's a good thing, and thanks to the <coughs>
Davidson for working with us in that regard. Uh, last, or the, before the consent agenda, our agenda item number six, the discussion on vacant city-owned lots and potential availabilities for Sugarland Habitat for Humanity. Uh, visiting with Gary and, and Habitat for Humanity from Sioux County is doing a project in Ireton and just wondered if we could uh, maybe give some thought. We have a number of properties in, uh, that the city owns here in Haywarden and, and uh, <clears throat> Gary and I were talking maybe especially maybe the one north of Quick Corner there if, if we were to uh, discuss with Kurt uh, Frangi about a potential Habitat for Humanity home here in Haywarden if uh, the council would be so inclined to perhaps uh, gift that lot or something to Habitat for Humanity to to get that project started or However something like that, that or, or can we do that? Uh, what's the, what would be the process with that? This is just in discussion only. I'm, afraid, so. I'm not sure if we could gift it. I think we could work way of getting it transferred. But I don't know about the gifting. You know, maybe we could work out, maybe someone would want to purchase it and gift it to Habitat for Humanity. Because I know they can, they kind of look for, you know, communities to go to, and it seems like a good... Uh, yeah, I'm a, just thinking, you know, right, we, might, we might be able to have someone purchase it and gift it, take a deduction for the value. Right. It might be one way. That's, I'm, not, I'm not sure we can just gift... Okay. As a matter of fact, I'm pretty sure we can't just okay. straightforward. Just wondering what what the process would be. Yeah, I think I think there's, just, I think there may be ways around it. So. And still, then the council would still be able to sell that piece. Oh, of we'd property. sell it, and and then and someone else would, someone would it. purchase okay. it and gift it, so, or a group. Okay. And we have a number of lots available that that are at this point just. Lots available, so. Mm -hmm. I mean, that, that's not a, I wouldn't think that's a very valuable lot. No. Okay. I'm not even sure if it's the place to build a. I think a we property. tried to sell it once before and didn't even get a bid on it, so I. No, I just wonder if that's, you know, best lot for the, for a Habitat for Humanity house, but. Yeah, it depends on what, you know, if they're moving a house in or if they're building one yeah. or what they're yeah. doing, you know. I think in Ireton they're moving one in, aren't they, mm. over there? Well, maybe we can have, uh, maybe at one of our meetings, maybe have Kurt come and, and uh, give us an overview of the of the, uh, the organization. And I, th I think we can get them a lot if they have a, you know, if they have a project maybe we to can go. Get out a uh, get out a map and see where the lots are and see if we can't work something to, to benefit somebody here in the community. Yeah, because we, if you remember correctly, we uh, we kind of gave uh, instructed Jim to we had those three lots that we talked about advertising, um, and we haven't done that as yet. But if if there was going to be a lot that we maybe wanted to exclude or maybe wanted to before we got that far, uh, in in some way we could maybe handle it differently or something. So I guess I see how serious you know are they? If, I mean, if they're waiting to find a house to move in. We could be talking about something that was, you know, a long, long, long time from now. If they're committed to doing something, then we'll work a little harder on finding them something. Sir, they're usually, I think, about a year out, aren't they, in their projects? Usually. Yeah. You know, maybe there's another lot somewhere that somebody would want to swap with the city to and then donate a different lot if we want a different location. I mean, I'm not running down that location necessarily, but yeah. um, some of the Habitat Humanity houses that I've seen, you know, newer houses, and they're built kind of small and allow for adding on. I'm just trying to think of that lot. That's a fairly, fairly narrow, narrow lot, lot, I think, isn't yeah. it? And pretty close to our to our commercial. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, especially if you're trying to get a home, put kids in it, it's not, wouldn't be my first choice. But. Sure. Well, maybe Gary and I can get a hold of Kurt and, and get some dialogue going and see if we can't maybe uh, put some things together for the council to consider or somebody out of the, out in the public to consider for, for a gifting process.
last agenda item tonight is just a consent agenda um, for the Fraternal Order of the Eagles 1865 for renewal of their liquor license for liquor, beer, wine with outdoor service and Sunday sales. Is there a motion for con the consent agenda? So moved. Moved by Tim. Is there a second? Second. Seconded by Payne. All in favor of that motion say aye. 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 Those opposed? Okay. They'll continue with their license. Our next regular meeting will be Wednesday, August the 10th. Remember the LG Everest uh, outing this Friday from uh, noon to 2. Is there a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. Paid and seconded by John. All in favor of adjournment, say aye. 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 Those opposed? Thanks again for being with us. City Council. Don't.